This is a sound test. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try this again. <laughs> My names are Buthnot. When I say ah, uh, you say but ah. Uh. But ah. Uh. But e, that's geet smashing that. And this is me cousin Dennis. Dennis! And this is the very loud ah, Buthnot and Dennis show. Raw titles. right way back with a brand new episode. Sorry about that before, we had a bit of technical issues, yeah. but Dan the man, because he's Dan the man, he sorted it out in no bother. It's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> oh, but Dennis. What's wrong? There's only two days left. We've got today and we've got tomorrow and then that's the end of our term. Oh, no. That means we're going to have to make these last two episodes extra special. Yes, we are. <laughs> and today we're going to be learning all about Theatre and music. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, fancy. Yes. Yeah, tour. Yeah. But first, what did we do yesterday, then, then? Oh, we built Roman villas. We did build yeah. Roman villas, and some of you at home built Roman villas with us. And we're going to have a look at them. We're going to pick our favourite, and that boy or girl is going to win a signed picture of me and Dennis and a snippy teddy bear. So it's time for Radical Roman Villas, the Radical and the Roman Villas. That was very good. Thank I you. really enjoyed Roll that Rocky, one. That one. Yeah, it was very nice. Well mm. done. Yes, we've been sent in loads of Roman Villas, so let's start having a look at them. Here is our first one. Wow, wow. look at that. That is from Bethany, who's eight. Now, what she's done, she's done a red roof like we did on ours, yes, she? we did red roof, and I can see she's got a pond in the middle there oh, like we did good. as well. That one's very good. I like it's that one good. a lot. And this next one has been sent in by Jacob. There's, that is massive. Whoa! That is a huge room. It's more like a Roman town, isn't it? Yeah, that must have taken ages to paint. Yeah, well done, Jacob. Jacob's six years old. Wow. That's absolutely fantastic. Well done. Uh, on to our next one, I think this is a video. Oh, look at this. This has been sent in by Ethan, who's sending a car and a six. So this one is all about having a different color. Yeah, I like the trees. <laughs> Look at that! That's nearly as big as 
is her. Look at that. Yeah, I think we could walk through those These doors, doors, couldn't we? She looks like Godzilla at the moment. Yeah, she <laughs> does look like Godzilla, but less scared. Less scared, yeah. Um, now, we've got the Roman village there, and she's done gardens as well, which uh-huh. we didn't do. We, we, we didn't do gardens. And that in the middle, I believe, is the bathhouse. Oh, so that was a rich person that owns this village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's, Beatrice really listened and heard about the, the bathhouses. That's absolutely fantastic. Well done, Beatrice. Okay, next up, um, we've got two pictures here. These were made by Paul, who's seven, Charlotte, who's eight, and Kai, who's ten. Wow, now look at here. They've got like, looks like they've done like a big sparkly wall and they've done like little squares to make it look like bricks. Yeah, yeah, and the pond, it looks like the pond's made of tissue paper. Oh, that's clever. And it looks like they've got the same paints we use. Look. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, very well done, that team of three. Okay, the next one is this. This is Jack and Harry. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, their Roman villa's really cool. This look at that. like a swimming pool. Yeah, I know, it's not just a pond. Wow. Looks like a jacuzzi. A jacuzzi? A jacuzzi. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. Well done, Jack and Harry. And also, I believe Jack and Harry's mum, their grown up said this in. This <laughs> is the picture of all the cereal that they need to eat now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it there. There we go. <laughs> okay, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Put batteries back in. Put batteries back in. Back in. Wow. Absolutely, loads of cereal. Make sure you eat it yes. all. Don't, Make sure you eat don't it. Don't waste it. Waste food. Okay, and next up, finally, our final one is Benjamin. Whoa, Benjamin. Benjamin is nine. He's even got a centurion hat, and I like how they've used a statue in the middle. They must have had a little ornament little that ornament. really worked. Very, very, very good. And I like the different colours. You've got the different colours of the garden. You've got a green garden, and you've got it red as well. Very nice. Yeah, very good indeed. Now, we need to pick. I tell you what, should we pick two? Should we pick two? I think two winners today. Two winners. Okay. Two winners. I'll pick mine. All right. You pick yours first. You pick yours. Who's okay. winning for you? I think I'm gonna pick. Um, which one was the one with the with the sparkly wall with the bricks on it? Oh, which one was that? Slip through them, Dan the man. Let's see which one that was. Oh no. Which one was it? Which one was it? That one. That there. one. Next, that one there with the big spark. I like the sparkly walls on that. That one. one. That one was made by Hope, Charlotte, and Kai. So well done, Hope, Charlotte, and Kai. You have won a Sniffy and Whippy and the sign. A Sniffy, sorry, and the sign picture. And I think I'm gonna pick. Oh, I'm stuck. You're stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, I tell you what. I'm gonna send the signed picture out. To Beatrice, well done Beatrice, you're going to get a signed picture as well. And I'm also going to send out a signed picture of Benjamin. Wow. Well done Benjamin, that was the final one, Dan the Man, if you could show that. Yeah, Benjamin, Beatrice, you've both won a signed picture. And Hope, Charlotte and Kai, you've won a signed picture. And the Sniffy Doll. So many yeah. prizes. But we're going to give out more prizes today, aren't we? Now I'm just going to yeah. do shout outs before we carry okay, on. Okay, let's have a look at the shout outs. Um, Hi, Lucas, Katie, and Uncle Neil. Hello. Um, Jack and Harry. Hello. You can hear us now. Um, hello, Beatrice. I think you've just won Beatrice, if it's the same Beatrice. Um, hi to Hope and Taylor. Uh, hi, Harvey Johnson. He's always watching Harvey Johnson. He is, yeah. Hi, when you get back on, can you wish Lucy Joe a happy birthday? Love from Mum, our five cats, five. Miley, Cooper, Zoe, Ellie, Tabitha, aka as pretty. Well, happy birthday, Lucy Jo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Have the best day ever, Lucy Jo. Absolutely fantastic. Um, shout out to Joey and Luke. Um, hi to Curtis. Hello, Curtis. Hi, Lily, Rosalie, and Dylan. I think they've been watching every day as well. Oh, and it says, I love you all, but not from Beatrice. Aww. Beatrice, that's very nice. I love you too. Doesn't like me. Um, well, you smelly? I am. Um, hi from Florence and Will. Hi to Auntie Sue, Bethany, and Amy, and Ascot. Ascot? Ascot. Ascot. That's where the races are. <laughs> 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 Today, 
boys and girls, we are all going to learn about the magic of theatre. Isn't that right, Oba? Um, Oba?
you could only afford poor. Poor? I don't know why I'm saying. If you were poor, <laughs> if you were poor, <laughs> if, if you didn't have, <laughs> if you didn't have much money, um, you could only afford tickets to the ground floor where there were no seats and you were exposed to the cold wind and rain that came in through the open top roof. It, well, it wasn't a roof, it was an open top. Oh, no. If you were rich, you could afford to sit in the higher level covered galleries in a comfy seat. Well, that's not like what the customs house is, because at the customs house, everybody gets a comfy seat and a good view of the stage. Everybody stage. gets a comfy seat. Now, boys and girls, the other day, we actually filmed a tour of the customs yeah. house for you. See, I think it's because I'm saying tour. Tour? Tour, so then when I say poor, poor. it's poor. Poor and tour. Poor and tour. We did a tour of the customs house for you yesterday. So, let's go to pass our bus not and Dennis, where they're going to show us a tour of the customs house. Roll VT! So, here we are, boys and girls. This is our tour of the customs house theatre. Now, this is Dalton Sweet, isn't it, Dennis? Yes, and it's a very, very important route, because before me and our bus not do a show, we have to rehearse. Yes, we've got to rehearse, and more shows get rehearsed in this room, because as you can see, it is massive! It's so big and you've got so much space to dance, to sing, to act. Over there's the piano, you can see the piano up there, have a look at that. That's where Jen Stevens, Ladies of the Music, plays. All the songs we need to hear. Some of the costumes from the Christmas show are still there. Yeah, we didn't fold them. <laughs> yeah, because there's not been a show since, so there they are, some of the fantastic costumes. So here's where we'll rehearse. But what else do we need to know about, Dennis? Um, well, if we're doing a show, how do people get their tickets to come see us? Oh, we'll have to go see Karen at box office for that. Come with us, come on. Come on, guys. This way. to put on a show. So what's your job here at the box office? So if you want to come and see a show, you need to come and see me and buy a ticket. You can also do it on the internet and we'll print them out and post them to you. Oh, that's fantastic. And how long have you been here at the Customs House now? Um, I have worked here for two and a half years. Wow. And how many tickets do you think you've sold? Oh, at least a million. A million? a million tickets, and you fit them all on the in the auditorium there. Not for one show. Oh, oh for lots and lots, lots, and lots, and lots of shows. <laughs> well, thanks, Karen. It was nice chatting here. We've we'll learned so much about box office. But how will people see us and hear us on the stage? Oh, the tech box. Oh yeah, we'll go see Glenn at the tech box. Yeah. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Come on this way. Follow us this way. Come on. Bye. Okay, here's the tech box here. Oh, it says staff only. Oh, we're not staff. Okay, I tell you what, you go in there, you sneak in there, see who's in there. We'll go through here. Okay. okay. Oh, look, oh. there's Glenn. Hi, Hi. Glenn. Hi, Hi Glenn. Guys. Hi. Yeah, we're teaching the boys and girls how we put on a show here at the customs house. Oh. So what is it you do? Um, I mainly do lights. Um, so I'll program lights for the shows. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, obviously, we do sound, stage management. That's fun. So you make sure everything's safe for us as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's a big part of our our job. Make sure it's all safe. Yeah. Brilliant. And how long have you worked here at the Customs House, Glen? Um, seven years gone December. Seven, seven years. <laughs> That's so long. And how many shows do you think you've worked on? Oh. Uh. Got to be thousands. Thousands? <laughs> thousands. Must have been. What's been your favourite show? Our bus not a dinner show. Yes! <laughs> oh, thanks, Glenn. We've learned so much about the tech team. But yeah. now we need to get ready for the show, don't we? We do. We need to put like costumes on and stuff, don't we? Yeah, where shall we do that? <gasps> the dressing rooms. Oh yeah, the dressing room. Come on, you need to get out of there. Come on, follow us this way. See you, Glenn. Bye. Yeah. Come on guys, 
Look, Joe. <laughs> Now this is the backstage area of the customs house. This is where we get ready, put on our costumes and our makeup, and this is where we do our vocal warm-ups just like this. La 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 Just like that. That was good. Oh, I thought someone was in pain. doing any theatre in the building for months. Oh, who are you then? Oh, my name's Rain. I'm supposed to look after the place when nobody else is here, really. Oh, OK. What are you doing in here? Well, I thought I'd just check. We've got to keep checking the building because we get holes in the roof and the rain comes in. Okay. So I'm just checking in. Dressing room one's OK at the moment. Yeah. No yeah. rain coming in. No rays being in, but no rain. Oh, okay. No, 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 it doesn't work. And, and this is a photographer friend of yours? Yes, this is Dan the Man. Dan oh, the Man. Dan the Man, the be pancake man. Yes, with Dan the, the man. Dan the Man, the pancake man. Oh, walk up and down, lovely. <laughs> yes. Now, we're learning how we put on a show here at the Customs House. Oh, well, any advice you can give, I'm always ready to take. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already spoke to Karen at box office. Oh, was she awake? Yes, she was. Yes. <laughs> We've spoke to Glenn in the tech box. Best boy. Best boy. Best boy. Yes, best so boy. now we'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Yes, how's his investment going on the stock exchange? He's doing really well. At the moment, doing isn't he? Well, Stocks yeah. and shares, he's got Oxo, Bovril, the lot. <laughs> so, how many shows do you think we'll put on here at the Customs House? Oh, well, ooh, in its 26 year history of thousands, thousands, thousands. We do about uh, 500 nights of shows, uh, 500 shows, not nights, because not enough nights in the year, <laughs> but about 500 shows, because when we do pantomime, we sometimes do three shows in a day. Whoa, yeah. that's a lot of shows. It's a lot of yeah. shows. And then the Dennis show would be doing two shows a day in another space, so yeah, it's a yeah. lot, of, lot of shows, because there's a lot of people want to come and see it, I hope. And how important is the Customs House to you? Oh, to me? Um, I've been here a long time now, and uh, you can tell. I'm, I'm, I miss the people being in the place, so I, I, I love the customs house very much. I knew it before it was a theatre. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely place. Do you want to take us on the stage? Uh, yes, I will. I will. <coughs> <coughs> You'll be used to this because there's nobody in the audience. <laughs> right. This is this is the way through here. Okay. Come on, let's follow Ray. So when you look up here, if the camera can look up here, you can see there's lots of dressing rooms. And there's dressing rooms underneath the Ooh. stage as well. We'll go up here. Go on, you go. Come on. Right, this is on our stage. You see, there's not a lot of room on our stage. We're fixing lots of things because we're broken at the moment. We're not working. So we're fixing all of those things that you can see. Wow! It's big, isn't it? Well, it's not as big as some, but it's bigger than others. Above us is where we should fly things in a big theatre, but we can't do it at the Customs House for so little. And if you look out, you can see what it's like to be on stage. And how many people can be in the auditorium at once? Oh, about 437. 437? Yeah, which makes us quite small compared to places like Sunland Empire, that's the biggest. That's about 1,800, and then Theatre Royal's about 1,200. So we are quite small by their standards, but it's got a lovely feel. And what's the light bulb on stage mean? Well, this is a special light that we've got because we haven't got any shows on at the moment. This is called a ghost light, and it's just to remind everybody that we'll be coming back and be open one day. So this burns all the time while we aren't able to put shows on. Oh. What's been your favourite show you've ever done here? Um, favourite show, I think, was the opening night of Tom and Catherine, which was a musical that we did. That was really, really special because ultimately that was in 1999, last century, and ultimately that got me the job here. So um, that's probably my favourite show. And I love all of the Dennis and Arbuthnot shows and all of the pantomimes that we do. I love them too. I can't wait to do them again here at the Customs House. Yeah, well, we, we can, we're not in a hurry to have you back, but, but 
I, I'm glad you're keen to come back soon. And uh, isn't it great that you've got all these viewers watching your special show every day of the week? I know, it's great. We've had so much fun, we haven't have. we? <laughs> well, that was our little tour of the Customs House. We hope you've learned something about the theatre. Bye! Bye! See you soon! Bye!
customs house or all the shows ever. You as Dennis. Me as Dennis. Well, I started doing our Buck Not Pal Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And then it was Wizarding Adventure. Yeah. And then I was kind of in the other show, but I was on, I was on FaceTime, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do remember so that one. three. And then, obviously, we did, I was in Dame... Bell, uh, Buck, not Dame Bella's Christmas Adventure. Oh, but yeah. That was more like a movie than a show, wasn't well, it? Well, yeah, and if you haven't got a DVD of that, what are you doing? Get a DVD, there's still plenty left at box office we can order. So I've been in four shows at the Customs House. What about you, Arthur? Four! Well, I started in Jack and the Beanstalk, and there's been five main pantos, and then there's been, I think, me and Puddles worked out the other day that there's been... 14 are book not Whoa. shows now. So I've done 19 different shows and I think uh, I've done about 360 shows now. Wow. All together. That's amazing. That's a lot of shows. That's it, that is and they still ask you back every time. Yeah, I don't know why. You must be doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, Uncle Danny has cut out the box you cut it out like that so it's got a nice base so it'll still stand and you cut out the middle bit so it's like a TV and that's where our puppets are going to go. And now he's quickly chopping out the pictures of me and Dennis. Right, while you're doing that, the next step we're going to do is we're going to make the stage area. Now as you can see right now, that the stage is a bit boring at the moment. It's boring. Like so what you can do is you can get some card or some coloured card or you can paint some card and then what you want to do is you want to put it over there so now it looks a bit better than just a plain boring card. It's like a floor. It's like a floor. There we go. Just like that. That's brilliant. Okay. Now, if you focus on the stage, I'll yeah. focus on the puppets. Okay. Right. And then what you need to do is you need to decorate your stage. You can do this by painting it. So I'm going to get some paint. So what, col what colour do you think we should paint our stage, Arvo? Red, because the curtains red. are uh, red normally. Red. So I'll get some red paint. <laughs> Where's the red paint? We have red paint. I don't think we've got red. How do we not have red? I don't know. Uh, purple. Purple stage. Okay, so we're going to do our stage purple. So I'll get my paint pot and my paintbrush and I'll start painting it purple. Can we have another theatre fact? You want another theatre fact? Yeah. Theatre fact, theatre fact. It's a fact about the theatre. Okay, I've got a question for you, Arvum. How many theatres do you think there are in the UK? Oh, a hundred. More than that. Two hundred. More than that. Three hundred. More than that. A million. Less than that. A thousand one hundred. That's exactly right. It is estimated that there is a one hundred, uh, one thousand one hundred theatres that are currently active in the UK. Do you, do you want to leave? Can you, if you can leave if you want. We don't need you anymore. But we love you. Bye. Bye, Uncle Danny. Thanks for helping us. Okay, so 1,100 theatres. Yeah. Apart from the Custom House, have you been to any other theatres, Arbor? Um, I have. I've been to quite a few theatres. I've been to Durham Gala. Durham Gala. Um, I've been to Sunderland Empire. Ooh. Um, I've been to Theatre Royal in Newcastle. Very good. I've been to the Tyne Theatre in Newcastle. I've been to the West Orbean Theatre in South Shields. That's a very good one, that I've one. been to the Royalty Theatre in Sunderland. And I've been to some in London. And I've even been to one in New York. Wow, New York. That's in America, isn't it? That is in America. Was it yes. on Broadway? It was on Broadway. Very good. What did you see on Broadway? The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I think that's what it's called. Very good. Boys and girls, have you been to see any shows on Broadway or in the West End or anywhere, really? Tell us about it in the comments and say what you enjoyed yeah. about the show. Now, someone has asked, what has been your favourite show? My favourite show? That I've been in or that I've seen? That you've been in? That I've been in. I really liked um, Arbo and Pal's Wizard of Oz. Because that was my first show. I, that was my first show at the Customs House. And it was just really fun. Because I got to be the scarecrow, didn't I? Yeah, and you got to sing, I'm still standing. Yeah. I think 
think my favourite show is still Jack and the Beanstalk, which is the first one I did. I think the first one you do is always a special it one. It is a very special one, the first one. Um, we've got some more questions. Um, oh, who do you like better, Sniffy or Whiffy? Oh, Ooh. that's harsh. That is harsh, and we like them both. I like them both. Yeah, um, the and we can't answer that. I can't pick one but Sniffy. <laughs> um, Harvey saw the curious incident of the dog in the night time in Newcastle. Wow. Um, and Alicia, she's been in a show, The Sleeping Beauty at the Customs House. She's done a show here. That's fantastic. Mm, that's amazing. So I'm doing the puppets for our puppet theatre. What I've done is I've stuck two lollipop sticks together so they're a bit longer like that. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry. And then I'm going to stick the pictures of me and Dennis on the end of the lollipop sticks so they look like that so then we can play and do a little performance but you can get pictures of anything you can cut out some pictures from magazines you can even draw some pictures yeah. and remember once again the best puppet theatre that's made will win a sniffy teddy bear and a signed picture from me and Dendo. Oh wicked now I'm going to wait for this paint to dry because it's still wet so when the paint's dry, I'll probably do a couple more layers of paint. You can still kind of see the box underneath it. But we'll do a couple more layers after that's dry. How are you getting on making the puppets album? Um, good. Where's the sellotape? I might need sellotape. Sellotape? I think I there's can't... sellotape. There's, there's some right there. I can see it. Where? There. Can I have sellotape, please? This We're going to throw it in. Oh, yeah, it's right there. I see it. Uncle Daddy, could you pass me the sellotape? So you've painted the stage, have you, Den? Yeah, but we need to wait for it to dry and then I'll paint I, it again. I think you should paint some of the sides. I'll as paint well. the sides as well. Thank you. Hey, Arbum, should we have another theatre fact? Theatre fact. It's a fact about the theatre. Now, Walt Disney World in Florida, they have the world record for the most costumes. Do you want to know how many costumes that they have in Walt Disneyland in Florida? How many costumes? They have 1.2 million costumes. Whoa, that's a lot of costumes. Yeah, for all the different shows that they do there. That's what, loads. What has been your favourite costume you've had to wear? This one. This one you're wearing now. I like this one. Yeah, I like yeah. mine as well. I like my one at Christmas as well, with all oh, the snowflakes yeah. on it. That was a nice costume. The red sparkly ones. The red sparkly ones, yeah. Now we've got more people sending things in. Um, we went to see We Will Rock You last year in Manchester. That was from Katie. That was the first ever show I saw in London. Yeah, we Manchester, Manchester's a big theatre as well. well is it? I've never been to the Manchester one before. Yeah, you have. Oh, yeah, we did. We saw our friend in Lemon for Rubber Yeah, we went and seen the Mids in Manchester. Um, We've got, uh, Harvey says his fave panel ever was either Beauty and the Beast or Lampton Worm. Oh, those are good, good ones, those ones. Yes. Um, I went to see Aladdin in London, that's from Elizabeth. Elizabeth went to London to see Aladdin. Aladdin. Oh, oh, no. Sure, if you keep going, Harvey, you will do. Okay, have you set a tape to, to do the lollipop sticks? Because they weren't very secure. Yes, yeah, so when you do, got to do it quick sometimes. It's not used to you. have to wait for the glue to dry. How are you getting on? I'm getting on all right. Just nearly finished painting our theatre. Okay. Now, boys and girls, when you paint your theatre, you can paint it any colour you want. You can even put some decorations on. You yeah. could you could do the masks like the Greek mask. Remember them, the smiley and the sad one. Yeah, yeah. You could that, do a them. lot of theaters have them on them. You could have you could make the, you could make a, a customs house like a little customs house. Uh huh. You could have the little theater with a big heart on the top. There's loads of things you can do. Now, are we ready for another theater fact? I am. Theater fact. Theater fact. It's, it's a, a fact. fact. About the theatre! Okay, the word theatre comes
comes from the Greek word theatron, which literally means seeing place. Ah. So that's what the theatre means, it means seeing place. I did not know that. I didn't know that until I googled it before. <laughs> um, Beatrice is asking me, does it hurt when I fall over in the slime? It looks like it hurts. I'll be honest, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it can be very, very slippy and I get a few bruises. Other times it doesn't hurt as much. When we were doing the Christmas show, it was very slippy, wasn't it? Yeah. Very, very slippy. Very slippy. Um, Bethany went to see Mary Poppins in London last year. Ooh. Chim, oh, chim, 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 chim. Right, let's stop there, otherwise yeah. we'll get to It's Disney. It's Disney as well. Okay, so I've got me puppets done. So as you can see, I put me and Dennis on some lollipop sticks so we can move them around like that. And now I've painted the theatre. So as you can see, as you can, well, well, later on we'll put more decorations on it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I want to put stars on the top. Stars, that'll be good. You could put stars, or like you say, the masks. Yeah. And maybe if you got some cards, you could cut out some curtains. Ooh, that would be a good idea, Yeah, you it? could curtains. do some curtains as well. But now... We got our fantastic puppet theatre. Look at that. We're going to uh, zoom in a little bit, I think, if we can zoom in. Hey, boys and girls, when I say ah, you say but ah, ah. Hey, let's keep thrashing that. Ah, my puppet, look at me. Ah, I fall over. Ah, I fall over again. Tip top. <laughs> that is not what I sound like. That's exactly what you sound like. I'm a bumper. Hello. Dennis. I'm a no. Uh, I'm doing some songs. Skinny boobs. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Yeah, it does. Listen, listen. You say Dennis. 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 Sounds nothing like me. Sounds like exactly. The you same. haven't got the new ones. Of High five. Life. TikTok dance. So, there you have it. We have made our little puppet theatre. Now, you can either send us a picture of your puppet theatre, or you can put on a little performance like we did there, where Dennis wasn't doing a very good impression of me, um, and you can send it on the Our Book Not page, and the best one will win a sniffy teddy bear, or and, no, and, or, and a signed picture of me and Dennis. So there we go, that is our fantastic puppet theatre. We we'll hope you've enjoyed today's show. Now tomorrow what is our enjoy? last show. Oh no. And we're going to be talking about something very, very important. We are going to be talking about our emotions and how we feel about our, our emotions and how we can deal with our emotions and we are going to be making our very own emotion buddy. Oh, wicked, what's an emotion buddy? Well, it's someone who you can talk to if you feel like you can't talk to anyone else. Oh. So you're going to need paper plates, things to decorate it with, and you're going to need a cup or a jar to put behind your emotion buddy. Now, also what we'd like you to do is how you've been feeling during lockdown. If there's certain feelings you've been feeling, and it's okay to feel anything, yes, isn't it, it is. Dennis? Any emotion you feel, you can write to us from on the Our Book Not page, and we'll read out. It can be anonymous if you want, but we'll read it out on the moral show, and we'll try and offer you some advice on how to deal with your emotions and how you're feeling. So, send that directly to the Our Book Not page, Send us your puppet theatres as well and we'll judge that competition and we'll pick a winner. But for now... It's a bye-bye for me!